Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. This video today is going to be the makeup look which is this look on my face right now that I wore in Dubai and it was the night that I was actually proposed to by my fiance which is so crazy to be calling him that. I actually did a poll on my Twitter to see if you guys wanted to see this makeup look and pretty much everyone said yes. <laughs> so that's why I am filming this look for you all. It's kind of the makeup look that I wore almost every night that I wore makeup. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my new videos that are coming out the button is just down there without me making this intro way too long I'm just gonna jump straight into the tutorial of how to get this makeup look um, so yeah if you guys would like to see how to achieve this look then please keep watching um, I have already moisturized my skin and for that I've used the Embrelease the Lake concentrate cream it's been on my face for about or five minutes now so I'm gonna go in with my primer um, so in my primer I actually mixed some of this body shop insta glow CC cream in a peach shade and this is just gonna help neutralize any kind of areas where I've got kind of like darkness any pigmentation and I'm just gonna mix it in to my makeup forever step one skin base smoothing base smoothing primer I always seem to make names up whenever I'm like doing chatty videos. I'm mixing both of them onto my fingers and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my face. As you can see, it's pretty peach, but it really does help like brighten the face, which is definitely something you want when you're on holiday because you wanna look like you've got a really nice glow. Now I'm going to move on to foundation. So for foundation I used a mixture of two foundations. Uh, first one being the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This one is in the shade Medium Honey which is a little bit too yellowy orange for me. So I mixed in some of the MAC Face and Body in the shade C3 into that. And to make sure that there's still some glow to my skin I actually mixed some of this Body Shop Honey Bronze Drops of Sun liquid bronzer. This is really fab. Whenever like my shoulders or anything were on show, I actually put this on to like my kind of like neck area as well. And it just gives you a really nice kind of glow without it looking like shimmery like you know some of the body shivers that you get and body glows, they have like a highlighter in it. This doesn't have that. It just looks like you're glowing from within. So I'm gonna mix all of these three on the back of my hand and I'm gonna apply that with the beauty blender and bounce it all over my face until it is nice and blended in. I've actually been loving this Rainforest of the Sea foundation recently. It is, like I said, a little bit too orange for me, um, but I always mix it in with some other foundations and seem to make it work. And generally, I do apply it like this as well. I just feel like it's so much easier and quicker. So I've just applied another kind of layer and I'm just gonna blend that in as well. So the next thing I actually did when I finished my foundation was something that I've been doing quite a lot and it helps my makeup stay for ages. And that is getting some like setting spray. This one in particular is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. So what I do is I spray this all over my face then I grab my beauty blender and kind of push it into my skin. And this I just feel like locks the foundation in place. And I kid you not you guys, I cried. <laughs> when I got proposed to and my makeup stayed. My nose goes really red and the makeup came off my nose, but apart from that, like, it stayed. Like, there were no, like, tear marks or anything, so this definitely works. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to prime them with this Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, eyeshadow primer pencil, and I'm gonna just kind of draw that on to my eyes and then blend it out. I know it looks really crazy right now, but once it's blended out, it will look fine. And then I'm gonna set that all in place using the Kick Ass Soap and Glory Powder. And this is gonna make sure that the eyeshadows blend in really nicely. I kid you not, you guys, I did my makeup in like, I wanna say 15 or 20 minutes because everything was done to like a timeline. I had to be ready for a certain time. I was told that we were going to some event. So I had to rush my makeup and it looked pretty good at the end of it. So you can definitely do this when you're rushing, but 
whenever I'm doing like tutorials and sitting down and filming, it just takes longer because I end up talking for ages and I end up explaining stuff. So yeah, the so majority of the eyeshadows that I used, um, apart from the glitters, were from the Tartlet in Bloom palette, which I kid you not, is beautiful. Like I didn't realize how good quality the Tarte eyeshadows were until I got my hands on this. I actually also bought the original Tartlet palette as well. I feel like this one is more of a summery palette and the other one's all matte, so it's more of like an autumn winter palette for me. First taking the shade Charmer, which is this like bone color shade here. We are gonna apply that to the brow bone. Next up, I'm taking a mixture of a Jet Setter and Smarty Pants, and I'm running that along in the crease, which is gonna act as a really nice transition shade between all of the colors that we're gonna use on our lids. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Funny Girl and put it on the rest of the eyelid. Going back in with Jet Setter, I'm just gonna run that into the crease to make sure everything's nice and blended. Moving on to the glitter, I actually use this Makeup Forever Diamond Dust, Diamond Powder, I think that's what it's called. I will leave the full name of it in the info box below, but what I did was I sprayed my brush, um, this is just the Lux Smoky Shader Brush by Zoeva. I'm just spraying the brush, there's like loads of pigment left in the lid, so what I did was I dipped the brush into the lid, and then I pushed it onto the eyelid, so I made sure that I didn't kind of like sweep it across the eyelid because if you do that you're just going to get loads of fallout onto your face so you want to make sure that you're pressing the color onto the area that you want it to be in so i'm just doing the same thing on the other eye this is such a beautiful pigment i am like totally and utterly obsessed with it and you are left with something that looks like this if you do get any kind of fallout you can just brush it away um, that's why I didn't do my concealer until like my eyes were done um, Just in case if you do get a little bit of glitter anywhere that it's not supposed to be You can still work with it So this was clearly not enough glitter for me because I wanted it to match my like glittery cape that I wore So I actually took Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay and I just like brushed that on top We're gonna brush it all over now before we move on to anything else, we wanna make this dry. So I'm gonna look down, cause if I look up, all the glitter is gonna stick into places that I don't want it to be in. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's nice and dry before we move on to the next step. So once everything is dry, we're gonna work on the crease a little bit more because I didn't want it to be so harsh. I did want it to be kind of more blended. So I took the shade Rebel, which is this really warm like brick brown. So it's got undertones of red in there, which is really beautiful because it really matched like all like the different stones going on on my cape. So I'm going to put that into the crease. And I was so surprised at how pigmented these were. So I definitely see what the fuss is about. I was gonna leave my eyes like this and then I was like, uh, oh, something is missing. So I took some of this shadow here called Smoke Show and I smoked out the like outer V of my eyes. So there was a nice kind of gradient going on. So I'm working that color into the outer V and then slightly kind of blending it into the crease as well. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of Rebel into the crease to warm it up. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt. Uh, you guys know this is my favorite. I feel like I love this even more when it gets a little bit dry. I remember when I first tried it, I didn't like it and I think it's because when it gets a little bit dry, it actually works much better. So I'm gonna apply a couple of layers of this on to my top lashes. So I've just quickly filled my brows in. I'm gonna leave a link to my brow tutorial in the info box below. And the two products that I used were the Soap and Glory Archery and then I set the hairs in place using Benefits Highbrow in specific the shade, like the blonde one, the light medium. I find that setting my brows with a lighter brow like mascara setter um, it really makes my brows look a little bit more kind of natural rather than really like dark and in your face. Now I'm gonna move on to concealing and highlighting. You guys have seen me do this so many times. I'm gonna be using my trusty Maybelline Age Eye Rewind Eye Concealer Majiggy in the usual areas underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, around my mouth, and like slightly like underneath where like my contour would be, but closer to my mouth. And again, as always, I'm gonna be blending this all the way using my damp beauty blender. Mm -hmm. 
And to make sure that those places don't budge, I'm putting some more of that Kick Ass Soap and Glory powder on top. I was all about like the bronzer when I did this look. So I actually went in with the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Cushion Bronzer. So this is basically the same packaging as their sponge foundation comes in, but inside here you have a liquid bronzer, which is very, very, very similar to the Giorgio Armani one. And I just, I love this. I think it's so, so, so good. So taking my Real Techniques contour brush, all I used to do was I like dipped it in here a few times and then I just started bronzing up my skin. And it's a very natural bronzer. It's not like too crazy in your face. I feel like this only comes with one shade. I think it would be really cool if they did some more shades because I could definitely do with a darker one. But it does the job and it is beautiful. It's so like lightweight on the skin. It feels incredible. So to set these areas, I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer, and this is in the shade Bronze. And I'm just gonna go over top of the areas that we applied that liquid bronzer. So I did contour really, really slightly just on my cheekbones and my nose, and this was just to kind of make sure that everything is not looking too like bronzy, and there was a bit of element of contour in there, but nothing too much. So I actually took with me this Diego Della Palma like contour kit, and this is so, so good. You've got like a warm shade, two cool tone browns, which you guys know I love, a highlight and like a banana shade to like set any kind of concealer areas. So when I wore this, I took a mixture of the two cooler toned browns and really kind of focused it on the kind of cheekbone area and then my nose as well. And then to make sure that it's not looking really harsh, I'm just going over with my beauty blender in those areas. I'm just gonna finish the rest of my cheeks off and I'm taking Gilded Honey by Laura Geller and I'm using a fan brush to just apply it to like the tops of my cheeks. I did go quite heavy with the highlighter because I wanted to look really bronzed and glowy. So I'm taking that up into the brow bone and then back down on the cheek. I'm also taking this down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow too. Because I wanted to be super, super highlighted and super glowy, um, I took my Fix Plus spray and sprayed it just in the tops of my cheeks areas where we applied the highlight. So you want it to be a really, really light mist, so you don't want to spray it too close to your face. So um, about two or three sprays is more than enough. And then what I did was I pressed that into the skin. And then as soon as you start it to like kind of dry off, I took Dripping in Gold by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I dusted that on top. And it really like makes your highlight super, super, super poppy. So as you can see, it is pretty highlighted. So for blush, I took actually one blush palette with me and that's this Freedom blush palette right here. But I basically took a mixture of this color and this color right here and applied that to the apples of my cheeks. And this is super pigmented, so you only wanna use the slightest amount, not as much as I just used, um, but you can always dust the rest off. I'm gonna finish the rest of the eyes off. I'm taking my Nude Eyeliner by Charlotte Tilbury and aligning my lower water lines. Taking my Urban Decay Perversion eyeliner and aligning my upper waterline. And to finish the lower lash line off, I am taking the shade Rebel, which is that warm, bricky, browny red, and really diffusing that out into that area. And before I forget, I'm gonna apply some of the False Lash Sculpt Mascara to my lower lashes. So for my lipstick, I surprisingly only used two products. The first one was Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashton, and I put that all over my lips. And on top of that, I added a bit of Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. So before I go ahead and set my face, I'm going to take my favourite, favourite, favourite lashes, which I've been obsessed over since I got them. These are the Lily Lashes in the style Miami, and they are the most fluttery, fluffy, wispy lashes ever. I'm just going to put these on really, really quickly. I'll probably do them off screen because I get so close to my mirror that you guys are not going to be able to see anything. The last thing I did was set my face and 
add a little bit of glow. So <laughs> the first thing I did was I took more of the D Slick by Urban Decay and sprayed that all over my face. And to add some extra luminous glow to my skin, I used the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which is incredible. It really does make you look really, really glowy. So I took a few sprays of that and sprayed that on my face as well. So this, you guys, is the end of the makeup look that I wore the night that I got proposed to. It's very glamorous, it's very glittery, and it just kind of complemented my outfit that I was wearing. I will leave pictures of what I wore and some of the pictures of the proposal that um, I've put up on my Instagram in the info box below for you all. I would just like to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to anyone and everyone who has left a comment on my video on my instagram or has tweeted us or emailed us saying congratulations we are literally so overwhelmed by all the love that's come through over the past few weeks uh, we really did not expect it um, we don't really share much of our relationship on the internet and this is one thing that we definitely wanted to share with you all so um thank you again so much for all the love you guys are honestly incredibly amazing thank you so 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 much so yeah this is the end of the this video. Um, I do hope you like the makeup look, but I'm gonna leave the video as that because I'm pretty sure it's quite long already. Um, so yeah, I guess I will see you all in my next video. Bye!